by the time I'm 37, I'm disabled. I've lost bilateral use of my hands. I'm having trouble swallowing. I'm living in pain. I have a rib girdle. My out-of-pocket health care costs are over $30,000 a year. Life is just not working out for me at all. And I was like the best patient. I did everything that the doctors told me. If they said do PT every day, and I went to physical therapy, and the physical therapist said, this is what we need you to do, your home program, like I did it. E exactly what they told me. And then I got on the board of the National MS Society. So now I'm like, okay, I'm with the people that are, you know, looking to find a cure for this. And I really just believe that, you know, I could beat this. And I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. And in 2000, Three, the doctor told me that I had moved on to the most debilitating form of multiple sclerosis, which is secondary progressive MS. And I was in Philadelphia at the time, and I couldn't drive and couldn't really do a lot. And I was married, and my husband drove me home. And he, you know, of course, we were very upset. And he said, I'm going to go to the movies. And he went to the movies, and he never returned. So now I am unable to care for myself for the most part. Um, deserted by my partner and my daughter is entering her senior year in high school and I knew that she was going to go away to college and you know I'm, I'm scared to death <laughs> because this is a progressive disease that I'm just told has gone on to the most debilitating form which for most people that have MS that means that we lose our ability to move our body and what kills most of us is that we choke and I was choking on thin air all the time so I just always thought of Liz Lemon and 30 Rock when she would always be like, I'm forever single and I'm going to be eating a TV dinner and choke and no one's going to know I'll be dead. And I always thought, well, I'm going to be the new version of Liz Lemon, you know. I'm going to choke from MS and no one's going to know.